All right. Hello, everyone. Today is the 24th day of the month of gathering here on Neopets, and we have the fairy festival to go to. It is sort of a soft launch. We're not getting all of the activities, but it is just like last year. And speaking of last year, while I was not able to record the entire process live, I did actually film a little last night so that we could still see the plot. Um, so I replayed all of the scenes and recorded those, and those will be up on my page very soon. So if you missed last year's, the 2023 Fairy Festival, um, you can get a general idea of what it was about and what the plot was at the very least. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and click on Fiora here. It says, the Fairy Festival is back. Queen Fiora has once again asked for Illicin and Jadora's help for the festivities. Go on fairy quests, donate excess items, and experience a new story as it unfolds throughout the festival. Want even more exciting fairy-themed activities? And dive into new fairy lands and enchanting match three levels in Neopets Fairy Fragments. Pre-register now on iOS and Android to earn bonus rewards. That's really cool. I really, really wish I had room on my phone for these apps. It is genuinely heartbreaking that I don't right now, but hopefully someday. Okay, let's go. Hello again, you two. Queen Fiora, why have you called us here? Shouldn't you be with the council? I know, but the fairy festival is important too. However, I don't have much time for planning, which is why I called for the two of you once more. Please don't tell me you're pairing us together again. I think last year was proof we can't work together. As much as I would like to see you two get along again, I simply don't have the time to argue. So no, I am not going to ask you to run the festival with one another again. Then why are we here? During these difficult times, communities need to come together in any way they can. This is why I believe putting on the fairy festival is vital. However, there is no time, and with many important resources turning gray around the globe, many may be feeling too helpless to attend. And so I thought of a unique way to solve both problems at once. We burn down this beacon of false hope and attempt to make change in actually productive ways. No, you two will hold your own festivals. Same as last year, so there is no need to plan anything new. And this year you two can compete to see who can get others to bring them as many items as possible. What sort of items? Anything and everything. We must preserve as many resources as possible to keep them safe from turning gray. Even the smallest of items could help out later down the line. And this is a great way to get the community involved and show them that they too can help even in these dire times. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy to not have to work with Little Miss Prairie Fairy over there, but with everything going on right now, wouldn't our, or at least my, power be better extended elsewhere? What's wrong? Afraid I'll wipe the floor with you again, you sour candy reject? Yeah, that's right. I can do hurtful nicknames, too. Ugh, that didn't even make any sense. You don't make any sense. Fine, then. Screw helping elsewhere. Let's do this thing. I'll throw a way better event than you anyways. Not if last year was any proof. Stop acting like children. Since this went about as well as I thought it would, I will be sending someone to check in on you both periodically. What? We don't need a babysitter. That temper tantrum you both just threw indicates otherwise. Nevertheless, 
he requested to be involved, so this works out well. For now, though, I will return to the council, but I will be back from time to time to participate when needed. I trust you two to prepare on your own. Goodbye. I don't like this. Something is definitely up with this so-called babysitter. What do you mean? This all seems like an awfully big risk, just for Neopians to feel included. I think it's a great idea. If communities stop coming together, they're bound to fall apart. Seriously, you're not questioning this at all. It's not like the Queen is famous for always being forthright about all her plans. We need to trust that Queen Fiora knows what she's doing. Like you're one to talk about trust. Whatever. We only have a few days to prepare our own stuff, so I'm sure there are lots of leaves for you to collect for decorations or something. So you never, hopefully... All right, looks like that's it for plot today. We don't have anybody else to click on here, but we have several activities to do. So we're gonna click on all of these. Now, last year there were some complications, not complications, but people were a little annoyed namely me, um, that they missed out on some of the possible prizes because they didn't know that they had to click on all of these every day. <laughs> so we are going to do that and avoid, even if, if, even if they're not relevant to us and we're not actually going to do them, because I don't think, you know, you can't do Illison and Jadora, their quests both on the same day. I'm still going to look at them. We're still going to click on them. So, we've got our Wheel of Excitement spin, and it's free, and we got a question mark, which means uh, it's a bad prize. <laughs> Yay, 312 nail points. And free the fairies. Now, I actually have a clip of this from last night. I claimed one prize because I had a free slingshot, and the slingshot said, this is only good for the 2023 so I don't know if that was actually accurate or not, but I grabbed a prize. So that will be in the other video as well. Okay, the soup kitchen. We'll feed Rebella. Why not? I hope that didn't make her bloated, actually, because I don't know if I have a feed a pet. I should have thought that one through. Okay, good. It just makes her not hungry, so she can still eat if I need her to. Also, don't be like me, because I didn't check my quest log before this, and I'm locked out of the Wheel of Excitement for another two hours, so that was a little silly of me, but it's fine. Let's go to Fairy Quests. This is the very exciting part. Okay, we got this little item here. It's kind of cute. And, okay, let's hope this is not too bad, because I have been seeing some people get a pretty bad roll. Also, if you don't know, if you open the shop wizard before you get your quest, you can still search one time. Um, yikes. Uh-oh. 60k is the least I can find it for, so let's, let's hope that this is worth it. We have the item. Here you go. And I forgot to swap to my battle pet. Guys, this is going so well today. Okay, it's fine. Oops, that could have saved me three code stones. It's all right. Uh, and three code stones, probably not worth 60K, but whatever, I have money. It's fine. Um, I do want to point out, though, that we completed a quest for the library fairy. She is new to giving quests this fairy festival. She is filling in for Balia because currently Balia is in the middle of being in a huge fight and all of the void stuff. <laughs> so that definitely ties in a little bit to this. 
same with the rest of the plot. But she says, fantastic. I'm sure this will make Balia happy when she returns. To stay similar to Balia, I won't reward you myself, but instead I'll request help from another fairy. Water fairy, come and bestow your blessing upon this Neopian. I cannot abide by a debt that is not paid. Her gift with the tides has surged Sour Rosie's defense. Next up, we are going to visit the discarded magical Bray. Brundo plushie of prosperity, and I got a pretty cheap plushie, but that's all right. Oh, and in case you weren't here last year, um, it's really funny. Illison and Jadora are busy planning the fairy festival, as we know. So if you go to Illison's Glade, uh, it's a cardboard cutout, and the same thing happens if you go to Jadora's Bluff. Cardboard cutout. <laughs> so I think that's really funny. They're like accepting the quest, but they're not actually there. All right, that seems to be it for the fairy festival for today. So definitely sort of a soft launch, um, slow start, but do make sure that you participate every single day. Press all the buttons, look at all the stuff, do your fairy quests, get your items, etc., etc. Because last year there was a lot of stuff that it was like you didn't get your free your free item at the fairy quest page that day. So you don't get, you know, so you don't get the avatar. I'm really hoping they reissue that avatar. Um, honestly, I think they decided to do the fairy festival the exact same way this time because, partially at least, partially because a lot of people were very mad that they missed out on some of the prizes. So a lot of things are going to be super, super similar, which I'm personally very happy about, but it got mixed reviews. <laughs> so I will check back in with you when I can do my quest log, because the item we are trying to earn on our weekly quest log is very on theme. All right, that is going to go ahead and do it for us today. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!